So let me grab a guitar. And there's no compressor and no EQ, and this is just the volume difference between my voice and the guitar. I mean, the guitar was intended to be loud, right? <laughs> So you get a, an idea of the volume of the guitar between my speaking voice and the guitar. So all these things are important. Um, the backs, the sides, the necks, the fretboards, the way it's braced. So let's talk about these uh, spruce tops here. Um, we've made a decision to use two different kinds of spruce. Uh, we use German spruce. European spruce, and we use red spruce, Adirondack spruce. Those are the two kinds of spruce we generally use. This stuff has a wonderful tone. There are also other kinds of woods available. We've got curly maple sets, beautiful curly maple sets of for backs and sides. Just gorgeous stuff, right? And then we've also got curly mahogany, which is very rare. You know, when we came out with this curly mahogany, nobody's seen anything like it. I think over time, everybody's going to know this is extraordinary stuff, once in a lifetime. Beautiful, beautiful curls in it, right? And we're getting really good results with beautiful quilted mahogany backs, uh, coca bola rosewood backs, um, curly maple backs, mahogany backs. Because everything's locked down on the top and the back, it's not affecting the tone so much, but the top has a huge effect on it. Once again, we've picked these two species that we're really happy with. We're experimenting with some other species that are very good sounding, but for the most part, that's what's going on. All right, so now you got a guitar, right? I mean, we're guitar makers for a living. And this is a private stock one. Uh, it has a beautiful bear claw top on it and an extraordinary back made out of coca bowl and matching sides. It's got that really hard uh, neck wood, mahogany neck wood. You can't see it, but the neck's full of very high modulus graphite. Um, and we've got uh, some exceptional tuners made in the north of England called Robson tuners that we, we love. A lot of these guys are, that are playing these instruments are retuning the instruments all the time. You know, to go so far afield from normal guitar design in the acoustic world, uh, we needed some people to stand with us that were artists and say, hey, you know, we love this stuff. And for the most part, the four people that are known to play our instruments at this point are Ricky Skaggs, Martin Simpson, Tony McManus, and Cody Kilby. A lot of other guys are using them as well. I actually saw one on, <laughs> of all things being played at halftime at the Thanksgiving football game the other night, which was really cool. So we're starting to get some acceptance in the market, but this is a radically different design and intended to be a beautiful concert instrument, you know? Um, once again, you know, if you tune the guitar down, it'll kind of tell you a little bit about... <laughs> Go down even farther. Let's go down to B. Reproducing the bass note beautifully, right? So the intention is the top does what the strings do. And the downside of these instruments, if it's got dead strings on it, it sounds more like it's got dead strings on it. If the strings are alive and they're brand new, the thing's just ringing with harmonics. The top is intended to do what the strings are doing. It's, it's intended to not sound compressed. You hit it light, it should sound real light. You hit it hard. tuned up the pitch.
was ringing for a long period of time too. That's kind of the theories behind these acoustics. Um, the last piece of the puzzle is this, the pickup system. Now, the way it works is you've got uh, kind of the preamp in an old Ampex tape machine running on two 9 volt batteries and there's a feather super glued right to the bridge plate. So it's not the way it's normally done. Normally you put a pickup under the saddle and it kind of has a high-end uh, kind of quack to it, right? But this thing is set up as a big microphone attached to the bridge plate. And um, it's putting out enough level you can plug it right into a powered monitor without going into a board at all and you'll get plenty of level out of the thing. So. Um, that's how it works. That's the theories behind these instruments. Um, and just something beautiful about the how long they ring.